With the new site, romhacking.com by Simple Flips and his team, SM64 ROM hacking is sure to have an influx of new hackers. When I was getting into hacking, the one thing I noticed was that there was an abundance of resources for less video examples than I expected. After learning the technical side of ROM hacking, I feel confident enough to explain how to get into ROM hacking using the SM64 decomp and start creating your own ROM hacks. The first installation we need to take care of is getting the decomp up and running. There's already a perfectly well-made tutorial by Rovert, who I will link in the description below. Once you've got that working, feel free to come back here, where we'll then install FAST64. FAST64 will be required for importing models and levels from Blender into the decomp, which we'll tackle in a later episode, but it won't hurt to have this installed now. All links will be in the description. First, head over to blender.org and install it for free, going to the download page and running the installer. Afterwards, head to the FAST64 repository, downloads, and download the zip. In a new Blender project, go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, Install, and locate the zip you just downloaded. Lastly, find FAST64 and tick the box to enable the plugin. This will enable FAST64 in future Blender projects. With setup over, now we actually get to do the fun stuff. First, we need to understand how Mario's actions are handled by default. Mario follows a state machine, which works by transitioning between states through this series of events. First, we check the current state and call the corresponding function. Then we process the input, update the state if necessary, and repeat. For example, let's consider Mario standing on the ground. We'll say his current state is act idle. There's also checks to make sure Mario is still on the ground, but for now we'll just ignore that. The code checks for a list of inputs and changes Mario's state accordingly. An example of this is if the A button is pressed, Mario will transition to the act jump state. Or if the input is a B press, Mario's state will be act punching, and so on. For our example, I want to add the ability to ground pound out of a long jump, which isn't currently possible. First, I want to see how the base game handles ground pounding. And I know you can ground pound out of a jump, so I search for act underscore jump to find the function that is called when Mario's state is act jump. Quick note, typically a state's function is just the same name of the state, but just all lowercase. This makes it easy to find examples of what you want to do. Inside Mario Actions Airborne.c, I can see that ground pound is handled by a bitwise and of Mario's input and input z pressed. Then it returns set Mario action passing in the current state, act ground pound and zero. You can look into this function if you want, but for now we have enough information to apply what we want. Since long jumps are probably an airborne action as well, I looked for act long jump in this file and find the function I want. Here, I can add a block above the common air step, which is essentially the way act jump handles it. If I build and load my decomp ROM, I can see that I can indeed ground pound after I long jump. I'll leave a link to the ROM hacking tools and resources file, which contains a lot of useful information and also has a few discords you can join if the resources aren't enough. Before joining a Discord and asking for help though, please try to solve it yourself. The next episode will be on level creation, and it will release alongside a warp tutorial.